Hai, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. My name is Nur Adina binti Mamat Alayus Dahan uh, from Sudan Phase 1 RPJJ 2200591. Today I will present my assignment that was given by Dr. Siti Soraya Lin about my job. I was work at the, the, the Department of Social Welfare as a assistant of community welfare under the Ministry of Women, uh, Family and Community Development that has implemented financial assistance scheme to help the poor family, older persons and persons with disabilities. There are have three personnel inside my job. The first one, income maintenance for the poor and needy family to fulfill uh, their basic needs. Uh, the secondly is to encourage the productive target groups to work and live independently. Uh, and the last one is uh, to improve the quality of life of target group for a better living. My daily routine that was I do during my job are uh, make the report, receive requests from clients and conduct investigation, review existing case, manage of payment watcher, contact clerk, investigate the natural disaster case uh, such as uh, flash fruit, storm, uh, red fire and landslide. As an assistant of community welfare, my responsibilities include supporting community outreach program, coordinating events and cooperating with local organizations to address social needs. I assist in implementing uh, initiatives that enhance uh, the well-being of individuals and family, fostering a sense of uh, community and facilitating access to essential resources. The targeted group that was my department provide to take responsibilities are children, older person, disabled person, violence means to donate rumah tangga, destitute, disaster victim, community service order means uh, pesalah muda, and the poor people. My best experience for 15 years service at the Malaysian Department of Social Welfare as Assistant Community Welfare is I can learn how to help the community to solve the problems which is uh, counseling, financial facilities and more. Secondly, uh, sometimes this work uh, give me feel tension and stress to handle some client but from there I can learn and improve my anger management. Overall, I enjoy with my job. Thank you. Hello, good morning everyone. My name is Joseph and it's a raining Saturday today. But I still got to do my assignment for my subject called JU is 100. So let me briefly show you guys what is my usual Saturday about. Come on, let's go. journey to work will cost around 1 hour to 1 hour 15 minutes. So, as I'm walking to the place where I am working, here we are. That's right, I'm actually a music teacher for the past two decades and I am teaching in one of the school as a relief teacher every Saturday. And here we are, my first student of the day. His name is Harris. Say hi to everyone, Harris. So, what is the challenge that we usually face? Injury. We have to protect our hand. I had a fall due to heavy rain and get sleepy. Here, what is become? A week of medical leave. So that is a very common issues that we have to take care. I guess that's all for today. Thank you everyone for watching this. Hello, good day to my friends and lecturers. I would like to talk about my work as per JEE 100 second part of assignment. My work is as per a customer service representative working in Siva Logistics Sendirian Berhad. In Siva Logistics Sendirian Berhad, we store the 
goods from worldwide for example from japan china us australia store them in our warehouse and send them to the end customer which are intel jabil micron and etc all the mnc's companies in the industry we store all of the products in our system and also the warehouse after storing them in our warehouse we scan them using the scanning system and all the scanning items will be recorded in our system the system will also be shown to our end customers so they would be able to order directly from their end in the storage we have two type of storage one is room temperature and cool room temperature 75 percent of the stocks goes to the room temperature and 25 percent of the stocks goes to the cool room temperature this cool room temperature need extra and special care so we have another backup room in case the first cool room temperature has gone due to electricity problem or any other problems our end customers will purchase orders from our system and also will be directly sent to our system after collecting the orders we would uh, place an exact dates for the order so that the delivery date and the end rate of the reaching the customers will be correct and for their needs. Moreover, we have to do every month stock count. In this stock count, we have to make sure that the physical item in the warehouse and in the system has to be tally so that the discrepancies will be resolved. Discrepancies such as the lot number that has been received at their end and our end will be different at some point, so we have to make it tally. After completing our stock count and showing them to our managers and also HQs, resolving all the discrepancies, this will be our month end work. So these are my job descriptions and job responsibilities. All will be very happy if our work has been appreciated by our managers and also HQs. So rather than waiting for any appreciation from the upstairs management, we would we should actually give ourselves a tap on our shoulders as we have done our good job. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tanishwari and I'm from Plank. I have been working for 4 years now ever since I have completed my studies. My Diploma Education major in Electric Electronic Engineering from Sultan Abdul Halim Mursamshah Polytechnic. And how time flies. Now I'm currently working as an Engineering Data Technician at Micron Technology Plank. I have always searched for new experience to challenge myself which helps with my career growth, knowledge and strength. Okay, let me explain about what is let me explain about my daily routines as an engineering data technician. I ask I assist engineers in developing process to resolve process variance equipment or device performance problems and provide for product quality control and efficiency. First of all, disposal SPC fails and other product using tools provided. Isolate product that has been shipped and content affected product as needed. Thirdly, identify problems with calls and communicate to the call owner and complete with the AP. Research, research deviations to determine cause and ensure containment. Follow the proper escalation procedure to communicate and resolve the problem with the time period. Hi, good day to everyone. Okay, my name is Shankari Chandrasegaran. The purpose of this video, I'm doing this video is for my English subject. The code is JUE100. 
Okay, this is our second task given by our lecturer to test our speaking skills and the fluency of our speaking. And hence, I'm going to talk about my topic, which is, uh, is my job. This topic would be more to the job that I'm doing now. Well, for the more, for the my narration. Currently, I'm working in a water industry named Parvaranabakran Ayapulapina, which is called PBAPP. It is known as a GLC company. I'm working in the GLC company. Okay. Um, my, my, actually, my department in the company is uh, internal audit. I'm working in the internal audit department okay, uh, as an internal audit assistant. Okay. Um, further, did, further don't delay about the, my introduction. So I would like to go to introduce my job. Okay, my job is like more to the data analysis and uh, data comparisons and more for our data collections. Okay, okay, actually I put this slide, it's for more understanding, but I think I would don't have the, um, I don't have much time to explain about my job. My job is, the scope of my job is a lot more. And this is my task is my scope is a task of internal audit assistant why and why internal audit is more important in the organizations okay further though okay this okay this is what i tell about the my job is collecting data compilation and analysis investigate the audit issues and then audit findings okay and at last last why the internal audit is more important in the organization it is like a, essential to maintain the operational efficiency and financial reliability and to safeguard the assets so this is why the internal audit is more important in the glc so um for the internal audit according to the bursa malaysia bank negara malaysia so internal um, all the glc companies um they have to have this department in their company so this is a um a, procedure in the bank negara to have the internal audit so this is my job thank you everyone